<laughs> okay. Uh, the number one way for me to get stuff done is through procrastination, I think. I could start this off by saying, oh my god, it's current date, and I'm still behind this many videos, because that's what I always say. So we'll just pretend that I said that, and, uh, yeah. So, I've not really been busy with anything lately. I've just kind of been not wanting to record this. Uh, partly due to just feeling like I don't really have much to talk about, as usual. That just kind of seems to be a consistent problem of mine, and I don't think it's anything to do with this game. I'm pretty sure it's just kind of my mental state in general, and that's why I've not been making like, any other videos. Which is a shame, because there's plenty of things that I theoretically would want to do. I just never do them. But, anyway. So, we're going to be uh, finishing up this stupid fucking level. Um, I'm glad that we managed to get the annoying part of it done last time. Because uh, it is widely regarded as the most annoying level in the game. And... Now that I'm up here, it shouldn't be so bad. It's kind of just a platforming section from what I remember, and I'm assuming there's some kind of boss fight at the end that I just have no recollection of. Right, that's the levitate button. Remembering buttons is usually good. Yes, you're, you're, you're still talking, aren't you? And you've stopped dropping those sandbags, so you're not even a threat currently. You know, let me jump onto this scoop here. Okay, cool. I can't wait until I uh, find out that I'm missing one random figment somewhere because it was flying around like that purple one earlier and just doesn't exist most of the time. Hmm. Oh no, I touched a stationary sandbag. Also, I feel like I... Uh, I forgot... I forget what made me make these comparisons earlier, but there was a level that I did a while ago where I was like, man, this is, like, totally giving me Earthworm Gym vibes, and I, I was kind of getting that from the uh, falling sandbags there, but I can't place what those reminded me of. There was just... Maybe in the first game, the, um... For Pete's sake level, where you're having to do the uh, escort mission and just, like the ridiculous amount of uh, meteor starts crashing on you, like, all of a sudden. It just kind of felt like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do have a shield, actually. I should... Could probably equip that. I, uh... Might in a minute here. I... As usual, need to... Uh, regain my game face, if you will. If you will what? I'm not sure. I don't know. Like, what, what, what do I hope people will? Um, believe in themselves and agree that centipedes are the worst. Okay, I'm hearing some baggage. I'm not seeing it. Okay, now I'm seeing it. And there's a vault. Oh, God. Okay. Um, hold on. All right, what are we doing here? Oh my God, everybody loves Gloria. I wonder if something's gonna happen to make her sad. Hey, look, it's giant cake and there's people and there's stuff and happening. And there's my bad, 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 hey ho. And then she died. Oh, okay. Now her mother died. And then everyone's like, oh, you're sad now. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, and then this happened. I, I'm thinking this part didn't happen. I'm thinking that's more Voldemort, but all right. Let's, uh... Anyway. Look out below. <laughs> I wonder who this phantom character could be. I have, uh, I have no possible idea. Also, that was, like, the closest that a tag has ever been to the baggage in, like, a lamb's age. Okay, which way is progress? I'm guessing it's that way. Just 
What do you mean just... Uh oh, because right. Okay. Yeah, this Phantom's a real good character. You look like a broomstick. I look like a coat rack. That reminds me. Um, so... I'm guessing a lot of people have are aware of the... Uh, ugh. A lot of people are probably aware of the, like, Mario 64, um... Fucking Christ. The... What is it? The iceberg thing that's been going around lately. Like, conspiracy thing. It's kind of derpy, but it's also kind of amusing. Um, so, like, that one's been going all over the internet lately. There's um, another one that I saw earlier this week that was, like, the Homestar Runner iceberg basically just like kind of rating your familiarity with the series and at the very top it's like Trogdor and the stuff that everybody knows um and then it kind of just gets like increasingly more obscure as it goes down and I uh actually did know everything on the bottom level of that it was like um the secrets that I keep which is the uh, what you call it, the, like, box of memories that Strong Sad has, um, which I always thought was, like, really sad. Um, that was down there. Oh, I actually do have the tag for this, okay. Cool. Uh, there was If I Ran the Camera, which was, like, some kind of personal family thing that they put on the website as, like, a hidden page and wasn't really meant to be discovered by people. There's a few things like that. Uh, then there was one... On a higher level, there were a few on higher levels that I didn't know about, or at least like I knew of them, but I hadn't watched them personally. Um, one that I had never heard of was called the. Uh... Oh God, what was it now? Um... Dad's Garage Improv email, I think. The only recording of it that I'm aware of. Okay, I'm liking my uh, lack of health here. This is good. The only recording of it is, like, this really bad camcorder recording of it being shown in, like, a... Like, to a live audience, basically. And it was basically just a normal strong bad email about, like, bad improv stuff. And for some reason, I guess it just never got put on the site, and it wasn't a, uh... It wasn't like a, a DVD exclusive or anything. It, it just kind of existed, was shown to a small group of people, and then that was it. How dare you violate the sanctuary of the Defend him. Yeah, yeah. Stop, or your next step will be your last. Okay. So, um... I'm noticing there's, like, this green light here. I'm guessing if I stand in that, it causes the sandbags to fall. I have not noticed if that's been a thing up to this point. Oh. I see what they're wanting me to do here. I still don't know how to exit out of this screen. Okay, I guess it's X. I'm a little bit dumb. Well, I have taken a few steps, and so far they haven't been my last. Uh, okay. Yeah, no, that, that, that's a that's a spotlight. That's not the sun. That's a good trudging animation. Trudging is just a good word, and I missed a single figment somewhere. I fucking said that I would, and I did it. I don't know how I managed that. It was probably exactly what I said, where it was just one that was kind of rotating around a platform at an awkward rate and was not clearly visible, so that means we get to go back and do this again at some point. But, uh, oh, or it could just be right here, I guess. That's also a possibility. So that was everything. All right. Never mind, then. All right, I don't remember this boss fight at all. Okay, Phantom, it's time to find out who you really are. What a shock! What? I totally 
guess that. Uh -uh, you said it was Becky. What the hell? Okay. Oh, the is up, Phantom. What? Why, I never. How dare you accuse me of being the rugged and romantic scoundrel that has thrilled and terrified audiences for years? Yeah, I guess you're right. He's so agile and limber and thin. He could never be you. Why you? Of course it's me! Well, it's time to hang up the cape, Tubbs, because your days of terrorizing the theater as the Phantom are over. Maybe as the Phantom, but he's nothing compared to the full destructive force of an angry critic. Actually, I do kind of remember this fight now. This still sound cool. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Alright, so. Oh, it's a uh, rocket powered critic seat. Alright. That part I didn't remember. Let's see how much of this I do remember, because uh, I, I, I basically just remember him kind of shooting words at me or something. This is uh, one of those. Unco yeah, okay. It's one of those, like, go up and do a thing to uncover a weak point type bosses. Let me, uh... Good. Let me go ahead and put on her. I don't know if I need my shooting, actually. No, I don't think I do. So, let me get my shield on that button, I guess. Like, Raz's ridiculously quiet, just little remark there. That was good. Okay, now. Uh, fucking crite. Crite. Cripes. Okay, now. Yes, yes, we get it. You're a critic, and... Something about pancakes, probably, I guess. I don't know. Um, can we not put it in the thing? Okay, there it is. Uh, so I'm not sure um, if there's a particular reason why I need to light all three of them, but... Either way, I kind of just go down here. Yeah. Die to fire. I, I should probably, like, get rid of the things that are attacking me before I hit him, is what I'm gathering here. Now he's describing the boss fight. No, I, I don't know if this is actually that bad. Okay, so can I... I... I don't know if I have to be using different ones, that's the thing here. But it doesn't really hurt to do it, I guess. Okay, can I kill these things by just rolling around at the speed of sound? Oh, I can lag the game out. I was wondering if we were going to get one of these moments. I've been saying for weeks now that I need to, uh... Oh my fucking god. I am, uh... I am not very good at this game, apparently. Dude, come on. Wait, that's the sh Where's my fucking laser? Okay. Okay, so I do actually have to be somewhat quick about attacking him. Do I get more candles, then? But yeah, I've just, like I said, I've been, I've been kind of saying for weeks that I need to, like, do something about my computer. I need to, like, back up a bunch of shit. And, uh, maybe I can put candles in all three of these. Or no, I guess the other ones got used up. I don't, I can't tell. I think I... yeah. Not good enough. Hot, 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 hot. 
hot, 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 hot. Uh, it, it, it's it, it's just uh, I think it's been established at this point that I am uh, very very bad at getting stuff done. So try to just do some damage here. These at least aren't breathing fire. I might be able to just kind of dodge these guys. Okay. See, I, the problem is I don't know if it's just the game that's the problem here, or if it's the computer. I assume it's something with the computer, because... Oh, and we're, yeah, getting skipping frames from OBS. Like, lately, every time I've tried to stream, I've been dropping frames, and that can't be an issue. Like, I mean, I guess that could technically be an OBS issue either, like, also, but the obvious cause behind this is just the computer kind of needs some working on. It's one of those things I just need to kind of buckle down and spend a day doing it. It might not even take a whole day. It would just be, like... The main thing I need to do is go through, like, all my files and kind of back them up. Uh, where's the... Okay, so I, uh, just kind of have to very much hope now that I don't die here because I really don't want to redo the whole fight. That would be kind of lame. There we go. voice acting here is top-notch. Even if the character is kind of, like, whatever. Alright, well, we killed a guy. No. You know, she just kind of stands there, and that's it. What a what a roll that is. I guess I don't really get what the deal with Bonita is, other than like she's a muse and. Gloria's getting her muse back. Like, I get the representation there, but eh. Just fucking get rid of the guy. Oh, he's continuously getting smaller. Okay. I'm not sure why, but sure. Clearly that's a uh, metaphor for criticism mattering less when you believe in yourself. I don't know. Alright, so all that was so that we could get a trophy, because we need a trophy for reasons. I mean, I know what the reasons are, but it's still kind of tenuous and dumb. So, now that you're feeling a little better, what are you doing currently? I can't remember the last time I came out here at night. It's so beautiful, isn't it? These plants came out a where? Like, now, the ten place? feet that you've moved? Also, this place is just kind of permanently night. And it has those terrifying faces in the sky, which I uh, pointed out last time and then forgot about. They're, uh, they're pretty weird. All right, well, other than uh, I think there's like a couple figments left in that level, um, I'm going to do that at some point off screen. There's uh, two levels left to do, and I'm noticing that I have a shit ton of Discord messages that I want to make sure aren't anything important. Um, but uh, I don't remember what the actual votes were the last time, but I want to say um, Fred was actually the winning vote like after Gloria. 
However, I am actually going to save him for last because I think every time I've either played this game or watched this game be played, I always do them in that order. So I'd like to mix it up slightly and actually do the Edgar level first. Um, just for variety's sake. But uh, peeing is, fa is fine. Alright, uh, Discord messages have been dealt with and uh, several people have been killed in the process. So let's just move on to... Uh, Spanish Hagrid here, I guess. Hmm. What is this? Are you working on an abstract piece? Nice use. I was about to say, is that last line just not going to be spoken? It's an interesting transition there. So this is another really weird level. Um, That's an impressive house of cards you're building. Guess we'll That's get into why. Not high enough to reach the sky and free her from her prison. Who is she? I only know that she is beautiful, perfect, and sad. I know nothing about her, she but she is perfect. To tears, and I can do nothing to help her because my creation lacks something, and it will not stand against the bull. What bull? So I don't know any Spanish, but uh, I'm assuming that Odio is, like, smelly or something, because, like, odious odor. I don't know. That's my guess. Somewhere along the way, I feel that I lost something important, but I do not know. I think it's your queens. You want me to go look for them? Bring me any card you find. I must complete this tower. Yes. Uh Good. Also, fuck this bull. So, uh... And we have crying baggage in the middle of the fucking establishing shot. Good. And just in the cuts. Okay, just sitting there. Good. God, I'm remembering more and more of this stage now. I, I remembered vaguely what it was like, but I forgot about the painting gimmick. Oh my god, are you right? Oh, hello, Poor dog. Guy. Hmm, little nick on the frame. Uh, Did not remember there was a dog in here. The price tag or something. Okay, so. Let's establish what some of the gimmicks of this level are. So we've got paintings that we're going to figure out in a minute. We have to collect cards. There's a bull that's just kind of running around like it owns the place. A um, bunch of garbage that I can break for no reason because I don't need arrowheads. I don't know why I'm bothering. Um, and um, one thing you're probably noticing right off the bat, um, but maybe not necessarily r realizing the ramifications of, um, so this whole level has this black light, like, what do you call it, aesthetic to it, and it, it's cool looking, however, it does it, it does make it hard to see figments, because usually they have a very similar cut, like, color scheme to just kind of the overall level, and you don't necessarily notice that that's what they are, so... Let's see. I guess we'll just get all this dialogue Have here. Have you seen any really big playing cards around here? Now that takes me back. Poker night with the guys. In the inventory. Man, I miss those dogs. Uh -huh. So the cards? I have a strange relationship with the dogs playing poker painting. I do know about these four it, uh, it greatly upset me back around 2008. Those are exactly the cards I need. Where are they? Forget about it. They're guarded by some pretty nasty characters. Not to mention El Odio. You're better off just hanging out here. And Meanwhile, we're getting just kind of over and over again. I think I hate that bull. I don't even have any experience with this bull yet in this playthrough, other than the previous cutscene. And yeah, he sucks. <laughs> hey, you know this level mechanic that you've seen in the cutscene? Yeah, you're gonna hate it more soon. Oh my god. 
Are you a prisoner of art just like Edgar? I'm a prisoner of that stupid ball. I don't want to get bored, so I hide out in the alley like a like a low-down dog. Okay. There's a lot of dialogue with this character. But you are a dog. Yeah, but I'm a saint dog, man. I should be up in the highlands above the tree line, kick up brandy around my friggin' neck. See in the world. I like this guy's voice. He, he does not have a uh, Spanish accent whatsoever. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna kind of skip this down a little bit. If you take one, if you buy one, magic. Okay, so yeah. Um, so I guess actually we do. Oh, it, it costs five. Yes, yes. Good. Where'd you go? Here's one of my newest Oh, I think that's a doorway. And this one's just kind of free. Enjoy your new art. One art, please. Nice. Now I can get Edgar's cards. Enjoy your new art there. Can I put this away? Yes. Uh, do I have to keep coming back for new ones, or? Okay, I'm off. I... Okay, I'm off. Okay, I'm off. Okay, I'm off. Okay, I'm off. Hey. Where? Where did you oh my god, shut up. Yeah, 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 buttons. Yeah! Okay, no, no, no let me actually okay, be done. I'm off. <laughs> Alright, so let's not get run over by a bull. So, how quickly... Yeah, he comes through pretty fucking fast. So, yeah, this level is kind of set up as, like, a circle, I think. Except, it's not really. I think there's, like, a portal that it keeps warping through. Oh, oh. Yes, I... Raz, you really need to l learn when to shut the fuck up. But, yeah, as we can see, uh, navigating this level is not necessarily going to be the easiest thing in the world because of this fucking bowl, and also just because the layout is kind of weird. Um... So I'm going to try my best to kind of be methodical about it, but I fully expect to get run over quite frequently. Let me, uh... And then shield, yeah. Hey, look, figments that I'm not collecting because they're phasing through walls, my favorite. Like, right there, that one should have been obvious that that was a figment, but honestly, I thought that was just, like, a plant. I wasn't even looking at it that closely. So I have to, uh... What the hell did I just collect? I think that was, like, hanging laundry. Um... I have to... really try to pay attention to my surroundings here. Also, I'm liking these people repeatedly screaming and then closing their windows. What the f Where was that one? I didn't even see that one. Or that one. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, what does that say? Lampita. Hey, Paisano! Nixon. I don't think that's what that word is. Anyway. Uh. Okay, let's... Uh, let's figure out what it is that I'm doing here. I don't think I'm meant to be doing this. But you can't tell me what to do. Uh, there's a lot of random sobbing going on. I, I get that it's the steamer trunk, but Jesus, it, it, its voice is just carrying. I have to also be careful to uh, pay attention to like doors that you can go in, because I'm pretty sure that's a thing. But they're probably obvious. Uh, oh, okay, thank you. You know, there was more hanging laundry up there I was actually trying to get. Um, can I... Can I do that? Why am I getting so many fucking Discord messages today? <laughs> like, you can't hear the noise for them because uh, OBS mutes that, but trust me, they're coming in, and it, it's bugging me because I don't like having unread notifications. But, uh, it'll have to wait. I don't care how many waffles are involved. Alright, let's, uh, not get run over by the bull. Can I just jump over? No. 
Okay, so I think the way this thing works is it knocks you back to, like, the previous... Yeah, it doesn't take you all the way back to the beginning. It just takes you back to, like, the nearest hiding place, basically. Oh, good. More... Oh, alright. This is fine. As long as it's not those big buff ones, those are annoying because they take, like, five million hits. So, uh, even though I'm already having problems attempting to, uh, like, keep a constant mental track of what's going on here and, like, actually speaking and finishing sentences, let's immediately go into, uh, random topics. Also, I can't jump over this fence, apparently. I'm not sure how you get back there. Uh, so, the first... Fuck, I didn't even see that one. <laughs> the, uh... The first of the random topics is a favorite non-video game toy you had as a kid. And I don't have a specific answer for this one, but I will um, mention a few that I found uh, interesting, and I'm not sure if, like, like how many people are going to be familiar with these. Uh, probably just due to, like, a generational thing. But um, uh, I remember one thing. Ugh, I don't think I can get over there. Uh, I had this thing called the, uh, the Big Big Loader, uh, not to be confused with the Big Loader, which was a similar toy, but not as big, and apparently you could combine the two together to make the Big 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 Loader, which I never did, because I never had the Big Loader, but, um, <laughs> anyway, it was a, uh, it was basically just like a playset that, uh, it was kind of like a little miniature, like a town or something, but, uh, like, it was, uh, it had a track that there was, like, a, I guess, what would you call it, like, a dump truck, maybe? There was some kind of truck that, uh, went around on a track throughout the, like, city, and it would pick up, uh, cargo, which was just these, like, little black plastic balls, um, and at the time, I had no idea what c the word cargo actually meant. Uh, that one instance was, like, my only exposure to it, um... And then many years later we had, why does white men have so much more cargo? But, uh, it would just kind of, like, follow a path. It would pick the stuff up and then dump it off, and then it would, like, go down a slide to go back to the place where you first picked it up, and then the truck would go back and get it. And I think there were, like, different ways that you could set the thing up and still have it function, but I was an uncreative bastard, so I just did it exactly the way that, like, the instructions set it or something. Man, I don't remember. It's been fucking, like, 25 years. Um, but, uh, I remember that thing. Um, and, uh, here's one that, uh, I would not, I would definitely not put it in my, like, list of all-time favorite toys or anything, but, um, it was just something that I randomly remembered existed one night about 10 years ago. Um, Introducing and, okay, hold on. something something in center R. There should be a, a localized Mother 3 sign in the audience. Because there's no other way to, uh, build a structure to get up to what's her face because you are so awfully itty bitty and then all right i get it just shut up and let's go then i will shut up yeah but only so i can enjoy the micro god this fucking guy of your attempts to make me shut up anyway um so like i said the uh thing that I just suddenly remembered one day was, um, they were called waterfalls. Um, I believe I had six of these things, um, and they were, I'm trying to think how to describe these things, um, okay, hold on, I gotta probably dodge like a, yeah. Um, imagine like a little plastic tube 
type of thing that's kind of like it stands up vertically and it's full of water and there's like a button on the bottom that you press to kind of like shoot a jet of water upwards through it and then there would be like it, it was just it was basically like a little game it, it, it was like you had to there were there were different ones um they all had like sea creatures and stuff in them there was one where it was like a swordfish and you have to like shoot little rings up to like land on its uh like what do you call the sword part of it whatever like the the nose um oh, okay did the game freeze or good there's one like that there's one you had to get like uh you had to like get little balls into a crab's mouth that it would block with its claws there was like one where you had to get uh divers into a submarine stuff like that um it's just, it was weird because I had those as a kid, and I mean, they weren't, like, something I would play with every day, obviously, but, like, every once in a while, I'd pick them up and mess with them when I was a little kid. And, uh, I just, I suddenly one day, for absolutely no reason, I couldn't sleep, and I just suddenly remembered that these things existed, and I'm like, oh, shit, what the hell were those? And I had to do, like a bunch of Google searching to, like, because I didn't know what they were called, and I'm like, water, toy, swordfish, like, just trying to figure out what the hell this thing is, and, um, eventually found them, and they're the Tomy Waterfalls, and it just kind of, like, was a weird blast to the past, um, to play the shitty games that suck ass. He would eat, he would eat. Grunt. Uh, I need the purse tag here. God, these tags are going to be fucking annoying. I'm trying to remember what other ones I would, like, would be worth talking about. Um, I had a lot of, like, edutainment stuff as a kid that, uh, I was actually kind of okay with. Like, it didn't, I, I didn't find it lame or anything. Um, one I, I think I've mentioned before was the, uh, 2XL robot. Um... It was just a toy robot that uh, played cassette tapes, and it was, like, interactive. I I, I still don't know how this worked. Um, oh. Um, like, the same way that you can have games that are played through a cassette tape on, like, the Commodore and that kind of stuff, which is just bizarre to me. Um, but, like, it would, uh, you'd put the tape in, and it would just kind of, like obviously play the audio from the tape, and it would be like, My name is 2XL, the smartest robot in the world. And, um, it would, uh, it would basically just ask, like, trivia questions, but it would kind of make it, like, this imaginary adventure type of thing, I, from what I remember. Like, it would take you off on these adventures into, like, a... I don't know. It, it's, it's hard to really describe, but uh, the way that it worked was, like, um, it had four buttons on it for, like, A, B, C, and D, and th you would press those to answer the questions it would ask. And so I, I like, just, I don't understand, f like, how physical media works. I'm not sure, like, what happens when you press these buttons to make it determine if you're right or wrong. I guess it just advances the tape by a certain amount. That would probably make the most sense. Do I have everything in this area? Surprisingly, no. I'm still missing three figments here. But, uh... Yeah, I, I would play with that thing quite a bit. Um, I had a bunch of different types for it, and... Other than that, I mean, just kind of... Like, I got into Legos at the, uh... Same time that I got into beanie collecting my eighth birthday. I had a like I had a pretty decent number of them, and this was before Legos were really like mostly based off of existing properties. It was just kind of like the space set, the castle set, that kind of stuff. Um, and just to uh, state my side, where the fuck are these other figments? Um, to state my side of the debate, because um, I've seen other people argue this before. Um, I've very much been kind of the person to just enjoy following directions. So I would always just build stuff the way that the, like, instructions said and, like, make it the way that it looks on the package. Um, I was never the type to just kind of, like, 
build crap with Legos on my own, just like freeballing it. Freeballing, that was uh, that was a term clearly worth using. So I don't know where the hell these other two figments are in this tiny area. I'm probably looking right at at least one of them. I've gone around in a circle here about 16 times and they're not standing out to me. So um, they might just be up in the air. I, I don't know, but we're going to leave. Um, go back to exploring the street. I'll probably keep going until I get the next card and then maybe call this a segment. Oh, cool. I come out and immediately get fucked by the bull. All the way back to 55. Um, Jesus Christ, why did that send me back so far? I have no clue where this is. Um, have I been here? Judging from the fact that this alley is empty, I'm guessing I have. I, I remember this person screaming and closing a window repeatedly. This much is clear to me. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's like, if I, if I tried, I could probably think of some more, um, like, I said that I had a lot of edutainment stuff. I, I, I'm trying to think what other stuff I had. There was... A lot of it was, like, computer games, so those don't really count, because those are games, but, like, I remember a, uh, I had this thing called the Explorapedia. It was, a uh, like, Windows 95, or probably even older. Like, I hesitate to even call it a game, because it really wasn't one, but, uh, I don't know what else you'd call it, just a program, I guess. Um, I've been in that portal, right? That's the one I did. And, uh, it was basically just kind of like an encyclopedia of like animals and nature and stuff, but it was like a very kid-friendly one, I guess you'd say. And it had like a, I don't, I remember like the mascot was this uh, frog of some description. I don't remember if it was like a one of those like poison dart frogs or just kind of like a regular frog, but um, it had like little activities and stuff in it. And I remember spending a lot of time in that and learning about. Uh, ten natures. And then being afraid of, uh, tarantulas, because I think there was, like, a... Like, the way it would work is there was different, um... Like, I don't know what you'd call them, biomes, I guess, uh, that you could explore, and... Do I need to talk to you? Oh, God. Let me finish my thought here, um... But yeah, it's like there's different biomes you could explore, and it would usually just kind of be like a still, like one, like, not a still shot, because there was movement in it, but like, it was just kind of like an image of like the area that you're looking at, so like the desert, the wetlands, whatever, and then there would be like a bunch of animals that would kind of like wander around the area, and you could click them, and then you would learn about those, and there would be activities, and I just remember like accidentally discovering the tarantula one time, and it like freaked me out, because I was like super afraid of those. Um, I saw another dog selling art up the street. Are you guys a chain? Ah, you've met my compadres. When we were young art dogs, we would run wild in the street together. But now... But what happened to Richard? Why don't you guys just make a run for it? You couldn't understand. El Odio imprisons us all. Art is the only escape. Meanwhile, they're still fucking crying from a bag somewhere. All these prices go up tomorrow because of tourist season. Could you tell me? Ah, but not. Yeah, we've seen that. Hey, can you fight bulls? I'm guessing we can't get rid of the bull. Sorry, artist here, delicate hands. And anyway, if you are talking about El Odio, well, there is of course only one man who could handle that much bull. Who can do it? Who can fight El Odio? I speak of no other than Dingo in Flagrante. Don't know who that is. Matador Playboy. Alas, they would never ask him to help. Not in a million years. Why won't they ask Dingo to help? Is he expensive? No, because what happened between him and Edgar? Quite a scandal. What? What happened between Dingo and Edgar? Listen, I deal in truth and beauty, not dirt. But... I actually don't remember. Uh, something about, okay. like, a Here's locker a room. Years ago, when Edgar was a don't ask, we'll find out eventually. 
bad while he was sitting for the portrait. Didn't oh, 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 oh. none other than the top flamenco dancer, Lampita Passionata. He seduced the dancer. And the, the hell kind of dog even is this? Unfinished painting and a broken heart. Since then, Edgar thinks of nothing but the treacherous pair. And since then, our streets have been ruled by El Odio. Wow. That's a great story. You should do a painting about it. Yes, that's what we need around here. Some paintings of dingo and bulls. Yeah. Good idea. Okay. I think we've pretty much seen what we need to here. You're a collie? I guess. It's like being forced to wear a golden robe. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta go. Okay. So, that took a while. Um, I'm just going to kind of go back to my usual circling around the place. Oh, hey, here's just another card. But before we do that, or... No, okay. Get the thing! God damn it. Oh, hi, friends. And they fucking get run over, assholes. Good. Anyway, um, paintings. I don't think the rose is gonna do much here. What does the rose even do? Oh, it just gave me a rose, okay. Um. I should find a proper home for this painting. So it will come to life like that dog said. I isn't that what I'm trying to do? So I guess these just turn into roses. I don't remember this at all. I don't recall what getting roses does for me. But uh, the guitar, though. Uh, yep. Does what I remembered. It makes a ladder. Oh, I forgot that these things even existed. It's been a while since I've seen one. Man, I am going to miss so much shit. Is this a bong? No, this is a candle. <laughs> Don't know why bong was my first thought. And there's fucking painting figments. Place your bets now how many I'm going to miss by the time I uh, finish this level. I'm going to guess probably at least 20. Some of these cats look like they'd be meme faces. Also, here's some uh, some Hadoos. I definitely approve. Lots of Hadoos. Uh, there was like a blue one. Yeah, there it is. Can I grab that? No, we can miss it again now. I like how you hear the sound of the guitar when you're climbing it. That's kind of neat. Alright, where's the damn thing? There we go. Why is there a floating fish? I don't think man is meant to understand. So, let's see. What uh, weird wrestler are we fighting this time? Introducing fresh from an astonishing victory at the Killings and Billings Dragon! Oh, I see. It uh, does not really look like a dragon. All right, what uh, what awful dialogue are we getting this time? So, is this going to be the exact same fight as last time? I'm guessing it probably is. Can I, uh, circle strafe? Oh, no, no, he's got a, uh, he's got a Metroid Prime attack. I like this, uh, helpless waddling animation they have. That's pretty good. Oh. Okay, so I think, uh, being on the ground at all makes me, uh, get stunned there. Is that the is that the sulfur? So yeah, this is a this is a good fight.
This might actually be the best of the three uh, late game levels, honestly. It's, uh... I, I remembered it being kind of annoying, but... <laughs> okay, that was a good one. But yeah, the uh, the Waterloo level is kind of annoying in some ways. It, it's not that bad, but I think this one might be more interesting. All right, well, we got two of the cards. So, halfway done, and I guess we'll try and finish this one up next time. Okay, hold on, there's a figment hey, that I somehow missed. I can still smell that guy. Is the other one also a painting? And then the other hamburger will also be made of your lungs. Uh, the other one is not a painting, as far as I can tell, unless I just walked right past it, which is definitely a possibility. This is fine. All right, here, take my card. I hope these are. I hope these are. So, not actually remembering how the uh, plot progression here goes, I'm guessing he uh, gets up to her and then she's like, you know, I've been fine with Dingo all this time, like, y you didn't need to do this. And then, like, he doesn't get the girl in the end, and then uh, something about Willy Wonka. Anyway. That was it, just anyway. That's the last word of the video. Except now it's not. Now the last word is fuselage.